peer pressure is very powerful. Researchers tell us that in adolescents, uh, a lot of the crimes, binge drinking, uh, smoking, uh, sexual activities, and also drinking under the influence, is all affected by peer pressure. In today's passage, we learn that Pilate succumb under peer pressure. So we must learn from this passage today how we can build ourselves up for resilience against this. Now, we learn that in uh, this uh, passage that knowledge is actually useless. Pilate knew that Jesus was innocent. He was very impressed by Jesus' resilience. And he knew that because of jealousy that uh, religious leaders actually accused Jesus. He also actually have warning for his wife that uh, Jesus is a righteous man from God. But just knowing what is right or wrong is not enough. The second thing we learn is compromise is useless. Pilate actually tried to dare the group and say, why don't we release Jesus instead of Barabbas? But compromise in this uh, time is actually useless because religious leaders knows that's the power of peer pressure. He rallied and persuaded the crowd to, to ask for Jesus' life. So in a negative way, we learn that we need to really support in our faith when we go through peer pressure, and it's through community groups and the church. And the third thing we learn is we cannot dodge our responsibility as Christians. Pilate, in this passage, he wants to dodge his responsibility by washing his hands, but in history, we know that, and in Apostles' Creek, we know that Pilate was pointed as the main person who made Jesus suffer. Application today is, we know that things that doesn't work, but uh, research also sh showed us that we need to build self-image and confidence in young people to help them to fight peer pressure. In the same way, we need to know our, our identity in Christ by studying the Word, but also daily reflect and spend time with God so that we can experience God's presence in our life. Also, we need to really uh, community and fellowship with one another to encourage one another through this difficult time. It's my prayer that we'll be strong and resilient in this world and not be influenced by the world.